Healthiest Practice Open Streets programs are one of the most effective and affordable large-scale health promotion programs a community can undertake. Open Streets are community-based programs that temporarily open selected streets to people by closing them to cars. By doing this, the streets become a place where people of all ages, abilities and backgrounds can come out and improve their health. We say healthiest practice because this is a tried and tested model developed by experts based on results. Think of it as a best practice for healthy living, so healthiest practice. By participating in Healthiest Practice Open Streets regularly, people can begin to change their habits and a city can change its culture of health. Some communities that are seeing a big impact from this program are cities like Bogota, Colombia and Guadalajara, Mexico. In these cities, people are coming together every Sunday to take advantage of the centralized and free health promotion program. Cities across North America have been moving forward pursuing their own Open Streets programs and are starting to see the power they have to get people up and active. So, how does Healthiest Practice Open Streets programs have such an impact? Well, it all comes down to four defining elements. Number one, selecting an iconic route with neighborhood connections. Selecting the route is key. The route selected and open to people during an Open Streets program should be strategically chosen to include iconic streets that people already like going to, not just bridges, parkways, or trails. There should typically be one main street along with smaller intersecting streets to connect to different social, economic, and cultural areas of the city. The route length should be determined based on attracting and retaining the interest of walkers, runners, and cyclists alike. It should take at least 20 minutes to bike the route one way. We suggest a route no less than 3 miles or 5 kilometers for smaller cities and 6 miles or 10 kilometers for mid to large cities, with the goal of expanding that route year after year to connect to as many people as possible. It is also important that the route stay consistent so that local residents and vehicle traffic can anticipate the street opening each week, month, and year. Number two is frequency. It is important that Healthiest Practice Open Streets programs take place with predictable regularity so participants are able to plan their attendance and change their behavior to be physically active on a regular basis. In Guadalajara and Bogota, frequency is every Sunday and on holidays. Each community's needs will be different, but we suggest starting out with a monthly program in good weather months and increasing to a weekly program as quickly as possible. Number three, including hubs of complementary programming. Hubs of complementary programming are hubs of programmed activities and publicly accessible spaces along the route that focus on offering physical activity classes, such as dancing, yoga, aerobics, and hula hooping, or other wellness-oriented activities like nutritional education, heart rate measurements, and healthy food options. It is important to have these hubs spaced out along the route as they enhance the health focus and encourage participants to move throughout the program. That brings us to number four, ensuring it's free and accessible. Healthiest Practice Open Streets programs are designed to be inclusive of all ages, abilities, and socioeconomic circumstances. So all the users, including walkers, runners, cyclists, rollers, strollers, and those with disabilities and or mobility devices should feel welcome. And the program should be barrier free, with no user fees to participate in the street opening or any of the complimentary programming. So there you have it, pretty great, right? By using these four simple defining elements and existing resources, the streets, a community has the opportunity to bring free, safe, and accessible recreation to people's doorsteps and change their culture of health. Are you interested in bringing healthiest practice open streets to your community or learning about the program? Feel free to contact us or visit our website where we have made a number of resources and tools available.